good morning everybody Linda here today I'm um, a short video on how I alter I'm going to alter this wooden spoon um, I have given it a coat of white gesso from Galleria I like this um, gesso it's really nice so I've given it a coat of the gesso and I'm going to be using the Venetia by Viva Decor stone effect it uh, gives it a Mediterranean feel so this one's called ochre and this one's cream so I'm going to get my sponge and start adding it to the um, and as you can see it's a nice rich creamy consistency so I'll go for in first with the ochre and I'm just going to get some on my sponge and just dab it on deciding where I want it because I want to bring in the cream as well um, I've used this product on a few things and um, it works really well my next project is going to be a set of plant pots so that's that one done and as you can see it, re it looks really nice so I go in now with the cream and this is the cream it's really lovely colour and mix it up And I'm quite liking the texture I want the texture so I'm not which is why I've used the sponge so I can get the texture on the on the spoon you just work your way up your spoon adding more as you want it and it dries quite quick as well so which is brilliant so I'll do that. Work my way up the spoon. Get some cream on it. And this when it's done will hang in my um in my kitchen. So as you can see it's got a nice texture and, and I like the colour which is uh, very very Mediterranean and you just work it through I've done the front of it so I'm going to quickly get my heat tool and just quickly dry it off do the back now and I want that texture this is the beauty about adding it with sponges you can create whatever texture you want rather than um, a paintbrush
I'll just finish off now of the back of the handle of the spoon and then hopefully that's done and I can get it dried. You need to wash your sponges as well and put them straight into water which I will do and it will uh, wash off nicely. So that's that done. Just put the lids on then. Get this dried. Before I move on, I'll just get baby wipe and wipe this will work surfaces. Where would we be without baby wipes? I ask myself. Right, there we are. Okay. Now the next thing you need to do is to sand it down. And then I'll come in with these glazes, which will give it the shadow effect that you want and highlight it to be um, like stone so I'll just get my sanding block and just gently I don't want to take away smooth it too much I just want to get really just gently and as you can see really nice stone effect so it's nice and smooth now so get rid of this see mucky paws Right, now I need to go in with a sponge and I'm going to go in with the dark colour. You don't need very much, you just need perhaps that much on a sponge and then just work it round. And as you can see it's bringing out the shadows of the, of the stone effect. I'm not too happy with that bit, so I'll just come in and work my way up this up the handle of the spoon. you can see the shadows on on the spoon and you can see the nice texture and it is quite smooth now that I've sanded it down hope you can see that 
yeah let me see the shadow and now I'm going to go in with this color which is uh, light brown I'll just use the other side of the sponge and hopefully Can you see now? And I'll just work my way up the, the handle. Only very lightly. I just want this quite light. So I'm going to do this as a garden theme. So that's that done. I hope you can see now how how it is. So I'm just pop them away out the way now because I've finished with them. I was very lucky to go to Viva Decor in February and play with their products and do um, a few tutorials in English along with a couple of my uh, work colleagues and um, I just fell in love with with this um, this product. So now as I said I'm going to be doing um, a garden theme so um, I love my birds and um, I, I wanted to make this into a bird's nest and I wanted it to sit there so I'm going to glue that there and my good friend Jennifer has given me some moss for another project but I thought I could use it on this I'm going to sit that on there um, with birds and I, I found this in my stash which is, um, which is a bird and I'm going to pop that up there and I'm going to decorate it with flowers so it's just a quick simple easy project but I just want really wanted to show you how to use this stone effect by um, Viva Decor it's beautiful and it'll look nice in your, on your pots in the garden for that giving it that Mediterranean feel so I'm uh, just waiting for my heat gun to heat up and I think it's done now no, yes it is so I've flattened this is um, a metal flower and I've flattened it so it'll sit in there like that over the edge I hope you can see that so it sits over the edge and I can put the nest there with the bird in I'm not too bothered about this showing through because um, the moss will hide it. So can you see what I've done? So I've created like a nest. If I put it at an angle, you can see I've created a nest. So next thing is to um, organise my... my moss there we go that can go in there like that I'm going to sit that on there like that and just put a few bits around Sorry, I know I talk to myself, but I'm talking to you really, those who are listening to me. <laughs> so can you see? Now I want to sit the little birdie in there. There we 
second. And I'll stick this up here. So can you say, I hope you can say, now to decorate up with some flowers. I'm sticking with greens and browns for this and um, having them in different, different sizes. I'll take the leaves off because I hate them leaves on the back of the flowers. Need a little rosebud. Got some really nice flowers, nice colours. These are these are my kind of colours. I love autumn colours and I just thought the green would just add that little bit more to it. Destroying the flowers. So we'll make our way up. Of all the flower colour, uh, my favourite flower is the freesia and then the stargazer lily and then the roses. And my favourite colour of rose is yellow. And I might just add a yellow flower in here. See if I've got any yellow flowers. I'm going to add some at the bottom. I hate these, I literally hate these green bits at the bottom. They drive me insane. Quite pleased with that. Looks really good. Um, find one yellow flower. Just want to wake them up now, up here. bit of twine to hang it up with. I 
and there is my um, altered spoon a quick easy project but really just wanting to show you oh my bed's blown off never mind but I just really wanted to show you about um, the Viva Decor Venetia stone effect paste it is really really beautiful and if you get the chance to play with it or purchase it I would really recommend it I love this stuff and um, I hope you like my little altered spoon and uh, thank you for watching today I look forward to seeing you again next time I will add my bird to it again There we are. So again, thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. See you next time.